it's time for your weekly horoscope for the coming seven days. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, if you ever want to get a session with me, you do need to go to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or you can open up the down bar and follow the links below. And for those of you who missed the manifestation webinar, you can always purchase access to the replay at my website that is available once again at integrativemysticism.com. It's about a two and a half hour webinar. We went over on time as we always do. And we had a very, very special incoming wave video this week in which I talk about two incoming waves at once. And so you might want to check that out on my main channel page as well. Very powerful energies, very powerful week. Click on my avatar below or just follow the links to its playlist. So what is going on when it comes to your week ahead? Well, the overarching theme or the big theme behind everything for you this week is the Justice card upright. And we have this huge focus for you Aries people on seeing a lot of corrections start getting made in the highest interest of all concerned when it comes to all areas of your life you're going to be noticing remember this is a background theme it's it's the theme of the week with the justice card there is a, a very clear sense coming through of correcting perfecting and equalizing now this is something that's going to come however in a very impartial way this is not going to come with any kind of preferential treatment or bias. So don't suddenly be surprised if sometimes this means that certain things need to be corrected or perfected and maybe the flaws within them are not getting overlooked. We're not taking baby steps with this. The gloves are kind of coming off. But with the Justice card upright, this is also righting wrongs. This is turning things around in a way that it's going to be enforcing a sense of balance by bringing things back to more, more or less where they are actually matching. And we're going to see that with other people in our lives this week as well. People are going to be experiencing what they are embodying. People are going to be experiencing the magnetics of the emotional energies that they are holding. What they vibe, emote, and feel and express the most is going to get them what they are sending out. And so it's important to pay attention to that within yourself as well, because this is going to be an opportunity for you. This is going to correct things for you, but it might correct things within you as well. And so we want to make sure that we are shifting into a higher level gear when we get through, when we go through this week, because you're going to be noticing this as well with family members and friends and coworkers and partners. A lot of stuff that's coming through is going to show you what people are carrying, things that have been going on that may be have been distorted, discordant, or unbalanced, inequitable, are going to go through their rebalancing and correction this week. It may defy what people's preferences are though. So we have to understand that this is a neutral card and it's not a card of judgment, it's a card of justice. As we get to the work and material realm, the household, all of our, uh, you know, financial or resource priorities. We've got the Eight of Pentacles upright, and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous week for you because with the Eight of Pentacles, there are some serious structural improvements being implemented in your work life, in your material realm. I'm seeing from the Eight of Pentacles, there is kind of Finally, a lot more attention where it needs to go, whether it comes to looking for a, a new job, a bigger, better project, or maybe even correcting some flaws or some issues in the interest of the justice card, right? That maybe people have been living with or, or suffering or uh, compromising with for far too long. With the Eight of Pentacles, there is this huge focus on progress this week as well. So we are moving things along that may have gotten stagnant, maybe got left up on a shelf somewhere. They're not actually getting, you know, that maybe in the last few weeks, it's just, it feels like it's going nowhere because nobody's even tinkering with it. Nobody's paying attention to it. It's collecting dust. This is a week where we're starting to see more exchanges happen, but also 
progress and improvements to the system in which those changes, those resources are coming through. Now, this is ultimately an overwhelmingly positive card, but it is also going to force everybody, whether it's to get, you know, in, in a new work situation or maybe in a new financial arrangement or in an existing one, to update themselves, to embrace the change towards progress and not necessarily try to just make it easier to do something an old way. Because the Eight of Pentacles is all about the updates and the upgrades and the new and improved models rolling through. As we get into the social uh, and, you know, family, friends area, we've got the Eight of Wands upright. And this is a week where a lot of you Aries people are, I, I'm getting this very strong sense of a big boost in your, poss your, your, your personal, oh, <laughs> that was uh, me knocking something off the desk here, a big boost in your personal maybe involvement in a lot of other projects, a lot of things where maybe you felt like you were getting left out before, a lot of uh, folks actually not just including you, but inviting you, kind of hoisting you on their shoulders. I'm also seeing with the Eight of Wands upright, something is actually getting underway that uh, a lot of people maybe have been going a bit too slow with, being a bit too timid with. Maybe there's something happening with friends or relatives that we've been kind of waiting for a sign, waiting for a signal, waiting for a green light. The Eight of Wands is indicating that there's no more waiting. People are not, people are not doing that anymore. There is also some kind of news of a, of a swift alteration to a norm when it comes to either a family connection or a social relationship, maybe even a living situation that is put in the offering for you. But with the Eight of Wands, it is a change that we have to act on quickly and will be implemented very quickly as well. But I feel like it's very positive, but it's giving off kind of that good stress vibe, like a really good thing that is still going to be stressful, at least in the implementation. As we get to the romantic side, relationship concerns, we've got the Ten of Swords in reverse. And this week, a lot of you Aries people are going to be finding that there is uh, some kind of second chance or something is getting an, a chance to try itself over again. And with the Ten of Swords reverse, this is uh, maybe a plan or maybe uh, a goal or something that we wanted for our relationship, or maybe it's another person, for those of you who are available, that never really got to have its day. And maybe it was cut off or, or stopped or blocked too soon in the past. Maybe it was just never allowed to get out the gate. The Ten of Swords reversed is now indicating something having its real chance by giving it its second chance or a second chance to have its real chance if that makes sense. And this might also be coming through to you and a partner in terms of something you'd like to do that maybe you both thought you'd never get to do as a couple or as a family. Either way, a wonderful correction to what you thought was normal. Justice card. So that is what I've got for you Aries people. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And if you ever want to get a session with me or get a replay of the manifestation webinar go to my website it's integrative mysticism.com mm -hmm.